Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the default diff. Now, the default diff stands for the default dictionaries. So, as usual, we're just going to create a new file. Let's just create a new Python file, and we're just going to say, like, a, a default uh, DICT collection. Right here from collections import the default uh, dict just like that so basically what default dictionary does is it actually if a dictionary is a, there's a key value separated values but here when are not uh, where the keys are not accessible or the key does not exist the default it comes to work so default dict does is it sets a default uh, dictionary value if the uh, key is not found. Basically, it's still not up to date because our normal built-in dictionary all already have this dot get function, which specifically does is if you do not find that key from this particular dictionary, it returns none. But what default it does, it actually returns a particular default value from a class like integer it's zero it's float uh, 0, 0.0 string it's double quote like that so basically if we want to just comparison of dictionary with default dictionary we just have to create a normal dictionary first so basically if i create a normal dictionary like uh, a person with a name as usual and i usually use this example a lot that's fine actually uh, here, if I use a thing uh, like person with a name as a key and the value as Tahseen, and I'm just gonna set the age as a key and the uh, value as 13. All right. So basically, if I want to print this particular uh, uh, dictionary, then you can just see that it prints out normally. But if you want to access a particular value of this dictionary from those keys, then you just want to specify using this, like the parenthesis, and you can just specify the name, and this key value will be printed out in the console like usual. But if there is a wrong key which does not exist, suppose if I just um, um uh, just just to get a get a key called like class or which class does he read in, then this this key does not exist and is gonna give you a key error called class which is a key error like class was not found so basically if this class not found then you want to get this thing using the dot get function so basically if this thing is not found it will return none in the dot get function so here if you want to just uh, use the dot get it will return none but if you want to just render like if there is no class specified on the person object then you want to just get a zero instead, right? So that is where the default dict comes at. All right. So now we know all the um, again agendas from our for our default dictionary. Now let's just get directly into it. So here I'll say default underscore dict default dict, and right here in this default dict. We're just gonna say these thing called like name, and then I'm gonna set the values to our uh, like the scene, and we're gonna set the age. To like thirty. So at this date, uh, if you want to just print out our print that thing on a console, and let me just uh, let me just quickly run this program. As you can see. It returns a default dictionary with a none. So basically, now if you want to access one of your uh, keys here, like uh, okay, you want to get the keys called um, uh, what about, uh, um, let's just get the same thing, class. So this will just give us an, uh, a key error called class. So basically, what you have to do is specify a default data type, which is going to be rendered. So here you're gonna just pass it int. So what it's gonna do is take that int class, and if you do not specify a value to an int class, it's gonna be a zero, which is specifically a default dictionary does is receive a class 
and gets its default value. So if it's an int, then it's zero. So basically, if I run this program at this state, it will run a zero, which is really nice. And also, talking about the functions of these uh, default dict, we're gonna see the items, values, keys, and um, so much more. So if I just wanna get the items, get the keys and the values as well, you can see that these are the theme which is extended from our dictionary module right into the default dictionary like the order dictionary so I, I hope you are really really crystallized in this video if you're not so you can also comment down below that which part didn't you understand i'm gonna uh i'm gonna reply with that in just a moment so so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next video we talk more about the collection framework and the next video is going to be our last topic called the decrypt decrypt